In the heart of a dense and ancient forest, hidden from the outside world, there existed a small, peaceful village known as Emberbrook. The villagers lived harmoniously, surrounded by lush greenery and the gentle babbling of a nearby river. However, their tranquil existence was about to be shattered by a series of strange and unsettling events. One misty morning, the villagers of Emberbrook awoke to an eerie silence that hung in the air. The cheerful chatter of children playing and the bustling sounds of daily life had vanished. Confused, the villagers searched for one another, only to find empty homes and deserted streets. Amid the confusion, a young woman named Alara emerged as the village's unofficial leader. She was determined to uncover the truth behind the mysterious disappearances. Gathering the remaining villagers, Alara suggested they explore the forest to seek answers. As they ventured deeper into the woods, a peculiar mist enveloped them, obscuring their vision and creating an unsettling sense of disorientation. Fear not at their hearts, but they pressed on, their resolve fueled by their concern for the missing villagers. After what seemed like hours of wandering, they stumbled upon an ancient stone altar hidden amidst the trees. Carvings etched into the stone depicted a forgotten deity, and offerings lay scattered around it. The villagers were taken aback by the discovery, unsure of the altar's significance. Suddenly, they heard faint whispers in the breeze. Voices called out from the shadows, beckoning them to leave the forest before it was too late. Undeterred, Alara urged her people to remain steadfast and continue their search for the truth. The mist thickened, and as they pressed on, they found themselves in a clearing they had never seen before. At the center stood an ethereal figure, cloaked in luminescent light. It was a spirit, the guardian of the forest. The spirit revealed that Emberbrook was unknowingly built upon sacred land, a place where spirits of the forest resided peacefully for centuries. Over time, as the village expanded, its presence disturbed the balance, causing the spirits to retaliate by taking some of the villagers to another realm as a warning. Filled with remorse and empathy, Elara apologized on behalf of the villagers and promised to restore the harmony. The spirit acknowledged her sincerity and offered a solution, to dismantle the stone altar that had been erected without their understanding of its significance. Elara led her people back to the altar, and with great care, they dismantled it piece by piece. As the last stone was removed, the forest responded with a gentle sigh, and the mist began to dissipate. Time seemed to stand still for a moment, and then, the village of Emberbrook reappeared before them, restored to its former state. The missing villagers also returned, unharmed but with a newfound understanding of the importance of living in harmony with the spirits of the forest. From that day on, Emberbrook thrived as a sanctuary of coexistence. The villagers learned to respect the forest and its inhabitants, embracing the presence of the spirits with gratitude and reverence. Alara became the official guardian of the forest, ensuring that the village and its people lived in harmony with the mystical realm that surrounded them. News of the vanishing village and its miraculous return spread across the land, attracting travelers who sought the wisdom of Emberbrook. Yet, the village remained hidden, only revealing itself to those who approached with humility and an open heart. And so, the tale of mysterious disappearances, the vanishing village became a story of respect for nature's mysteries, a reminder that even in the most enigmatic places, understanding and harmony could be found through sincerity and a willingness to learn from the unknown.